Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question subsets. So this is also the 11th day question for the July lead code challenge. All right, so in this question, we're given distinct integers inside of a list. And our goal is to return all of its possible subsets without repeating anything. And yeah, so let's see how we can solve this question. So let's say that we're given an input of this list. So we have one comma two comma three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list called results. So in results, we're gonna include all of the subsets. So in the beginning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an empty list to results. So because no matter what our input is, we're always going to have an empty list as one of the answers. So our results are going to start off with an empty list. And we're going to keep appending more things, sorry, more subsets to our results. So let's see how that looks like. I'm just going to close the close. I'm just going to remove the closing bracket for the results for now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're first going to iterate through the inputs and simultaneously we're going to be iterating through our results. And before we do that, I just want to show you something real quickly. So let's say we go, one second. all right, so let's go to Python 3. And once we're over here, what we want to do is we want to first, so I'll, I'll create an, uh, so A is going to have the value of list 1 and B is going to have the value of list 2. And now let's make a variable C, which is A plus B. Now, what do you think? So we, one might think that when we're doing A plus B, we're going to get the value of a list, uh, which is with a list with the value three. But the truth is the value C is going to have, is going to form a list with one comma two. So let's just see how that looks like. So let's print C and C. Uh, over here, we get a list which has the elements of A and the elements of B, but you don't actually add them. It's just A comma B, so one comma two. So now we're gonna use the same concept to solve our problem. So first we're gonna iterate through everything in inputs. So first we have the number one, and simultaneously we're gonna be iterating through everything in results, and we have an empty list. So we're gonna add them together. So we're gonna add uh, one, and we're gonna make it a list, so one, plus results, so over here we have an empty list. Now this is just gonna equal to the number one. Now we're gonna, so we're gonna append that to our results. So we're gonna append the number one. So we already went at one, so let's just cross it out. Now we're gonna go to two. So simultaneously we're gonna be iterating through everything in results. So first we're gonna go to the empty list. Now we're gonna do an empty list plus uh, 2 which is inside of a list. Now when you add that you just get 2. Now we're going to add this to our results. And again over here so we have the number 1. So we're going to add a list with the number 1 plus a list with the number 2 and over here we're going to get 1 comma 2. So we're going to add that to our results as well. And now we're done with this. And last, uh, for our final step, we're gonna go to the number three inside of nums. Sorry, inside of our inputs. We're gonna cross out two since we already uh, finished the number two. Now we're gonna go to the number three. So we're gonna make three into a list and we're gonna uh, do the same steps. We're gonna iterate through everything instead of results. So first an empty list, so we're gonna add that. Uh, so then I'll just do all the additions first. So we have three inside of a list plus one inside of a list. Then we have three inside of a list plus two inside of a list. Sorry, two. And finally, three in a list plus one comma two. Now let's add these all up and see what it looks like. So we over here, we just get three inside of a list. Over here, we get three comma one. Over here, we get three comma two. And finally, over here, we get three comma one comma two. So now we're gonna append this, 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 and this, all of them to our results. And that should be our final answer. 
So we're just gonna repeat the same steps inside of our code. It's pretty short and simple. I just wanted to clarify that this is not the most optimized solution. Uh, my code was accepted and it is an acceptable solution, but it is not the best solution. So I'm just telling you right now that while this solution does work and it is a good approach to solving this, it is not the only and this is not the best solution. With that being said, let's go right into our code quickly. Okay, so I'll just show you what it is because it's pretty simple. So in the beginning, we create a result list and that list already contains an empty list because no matter what our nums input is, uh, our answer is always going to have an empty list. Then what we're doing is we're iterating for num and number. So we're going through each of the numbers and to our results, we're adding this list. So what does this list consist of? So this list consists of numbers inside of a list. So this is, uh, this comes from this for loop. And then we have I, and basically I is all the, are all the values inside of our results array. Oh, sorry, list. So in the beginning, I is just going to be an empty list. And each time we iterate through, there's going to be more I values, and we're just going to keep adding them on to results. And once we exit out of this for loop, we're just going to return our results. And if you submit this, our code is accepted. And finally, do let me know if you found if this video helped you in any way. And uh, again, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.